take extreme ownership. You've heard this before. Let's talk about this. It frustrates me when I see young men, grown men, not take ownership. You see, I can't trust anyone. Think about this for a second. Can you tr trust someone that when you ask them, why did this happen? They say, because, you know, this person uh, did this and because of that, I wasn't able to do that and, and that's why I'm in this position. Compared to someone that says, you ask them, why, why didn't you do this? They said, you know what? My bad. I was lazy. I take full accountability for my actions. I will trust someone more that is upfront with me with why they didn't do something as opposed to someone that blames somebody else. Now, hear me out. Both could be true. The person that was disappointed by somebody else, that might be true. That person might have been disappointed and because of that, they weren't able to produce the result. But I rather, I rather be associated with someone that takes full accountability. Let's take a big one. Let's take a, a COVID, for example. Many people lost their jobs. That's, there's no denying that. However, I, rather, I would rather associate myself and trust someone that says, you know what, um, instead of someone saying, you know, I, I lost my job because of COVID and because of that, um, two to three years later, you know what, I'm still stuck in my position and it's just been tough. As opposed to someone saying, hey, I lost my job because of the virus and because of that, I may not have an income now, but I've developed so many skills within the past two to three years that now I'm able to do something with those skills. I rather have someone take full ownership over what happened in their lives than having someone blame everyone else and not take full responsibility. Now, whether, now whether this philosophy is right or wrong, to me, it doesn't matter. What matters is that this philosophy leaves me feeling empowered, in control, and leaves me not feeling like a victim. Blaming others leaves you in a victimhood state. Taking accountability, it's tough, it's hard, but it leaves you feeling empowered. Choose today to take extreme ownership. Extreme ownership. Your physical health, where you are right now in your body, I want you to take 110% extreme ownership saying what happened where I am right now is because of me and where I'm going right now 
is because of me. As opposed to saying, where I'm at right now, it's that person's fault. And in order for me to get better, they need to do what they need to do to get me in better. You, you see the difference between the two. Don't fall in the trap of blaming others, of giving everyone else the power. And, and I think that's that's one of the major one of the major psychological reasons why we do that is because the reason why we give and blame others is and the reason why we don't want to take responsibility is because when we know if we take full responsibility of what happened now the onus is on us to do the work and you are lazy you don't want to do the work stop being lazy take responsibility do the work and see your life change don't be lazy take responsibility do the work and see your life change say this one more time don't be lazy take responsibility do the work and see your life change see your life change that's my desire for you you can have it all you can have the physique you can have the wealth you can have the vital relationships that you need in your life but it starts with not being lazy take responsibility do the work and you'll see your life change if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and remember we are not here just to survive we are here to thrive only if you don't be lazy do the work take responsibility and then you'll see your life change until next time peace